This is absolutely incredible news. Congress has just approved a new bill authorizing monthly stimulus checks of $2,000 for Social Security recipients, SSI, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs beneficiaries. This is massive. I cannot contain my excitement about this new development. Just take a moment to let this sink in. $2,000 every single month in additional stimulus money if you receive Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits. Given how badly inflation and rising costs have hurt seniors and disabled Americans who subsist on fixed incomes, this extra cash injection on a monthly basis will be an absolute lifeline. I don't even have the words to express how huge this is. This money can help millions of Americans afford groceries, gas, medical bills, utilities, and other necessities during this time of sky-high prices. I am just blown away that Congress actually passed legislation providing this level of meaningful relief. Of course, the cynics will say this is just political theater before the midterm elections. But who cares? Extra money is extra money. If this helps people in need while also scoring some political points, that's a win-win in my book. And the monthly checks just make so much practical sense. Rather than a one-time payment, the money will keep flowing steadily. That allows people to really budget and know what to expect each month. $2,000 on top of Social Security, SSI, or VA funds will stretch so much further. I cannot state enough how incredibly major this development is. This will have a tangible impact on the daily lives of millions of retirees, veterans, and Americans with disabilities. They need this money badly with everything becoming more expensive. Now their relief is finally coming. All right, let me catch my breath for a minute here. I am just so thrilled and astounded that this stimulus package specifically targeting Social Security recipients and other federal benefits programs actually made it through Congress with bipartisan support. This is the kind of policymaking we need to see more of in Washington. Now, I'm sure you have a ton of questions at this point. Who will qualify for the new $2,000 monthly stimulus checks? How and when can you apply or sign up? What are the eligibility requirements? Not to worry, I will explain all the details you need to know going forward in this video. But let's first soak in this fantastic news a bit longer. A round of applause to our lawmakers for taking real action to provide more support and relief to American retirees, veterans, and people with disabilities. $2,000 a month can make a huge difference in their lives. This gives them more breathing room and stability. It helps cover costs that have gotten painfully expensive like gas, heating bills, medical expenses, and so much more. I hope this ushers in a new era of Congress actually working together and passing bills that meaningfully help average Americans make ends meet. People have been struggling so much lately. This stimulus money is a glimmer of hope that more assistance could be on the way. Maybe there's a chance Republicans and Democrats will collaborate on other beneficial measures for the American people. We can always keep hoping, right? In any case, I am absolutely thrilled right now. $2,000 recurring monthly stimulus checks for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries. What an incredible surprise and a major win. All right, let's go ahead and dive into all the nitty gritty details. Now I'm sure you have tons of questions about how these new $2,000 monthly stimulus checks will work if you receive Social Security benefits like retirement, SSDI, or SSI, or get payments from Veterans Affairs. Let's go through all the specifics so you have all the information. Here's everything we know right now about eligibility requirements, how to ensure you get the payments, when they will start going out, and more. First of all, the new stimulus bill passed by Congress authorizes $2,000 monthly checks for one year, so 12 payments total, for Americans who get benefits through Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, Social Security Disability Insurance, and the VA. The $2,000 monthly amount is the same regardless if you are single or married. Dependents and children do not get any additional funds. To qualify, you must have an active benefits claim with Social Security or the VA. As long as you are receiving payments from them currently, you will receive the stimulus money. Those whose claims are still pending or have been denied will unfortunately not qualify. For Social Security, you must be receiving retirement benefits for seniors, survivor benefits, SSDI payments, or supplemental security income. 
As long as you have an active claim and get regular payments, you will receive the stimulus checks. For VA beneficiaries, you must have an official disability rating from the VA and receive compensation payments each month. These include disability ratings ranging from 10% up to 100%. As long as you have a rating and get compensation, you will qualify. The Social Security Administration and VA will use their payment records to automatically send out the $2,000 monthly checks to the account you have on file. That means you do not have to sign up, apply separately, or contact the agencies directly. The stimulus money will come automatically every month as long as your benefits claim remains active. For Social Security, the new stimulus payments will likely come on the same day each month as your usual benefits deposit. For VA beneficiaries, the additional $2,000 will likely arrive a few days after your standard compensation payment. The stimulus checks are scheduled to begin going out next month, so February 2024 is likely the first month you will see the extra $2,000 hit your bank account or debit card alongside your benefits payment. One thing to watch out for is that the Social Security Administration and VA will be sending letters confirming your eligibility and providing more details on when exactly you will see the money. Make sure to keep an eye out for those letters and read them carefully so you know when to anticipate the start of your payments. If for some reason you feel you qualify for the stimulus checks but have not received any letters from Social Security or the VA by the middle of next month, you may want to contact them directly to inquire about the status of your payment. But for most people, it should be an automatic process based on your regular benefits deposits. This new stimulus program is scheduled to last for one year, subject to congressional renewal after the 12 monthly payments conclude. There is certainly hope among advocates that the program would be extended and expanded even further to help vulnerable groups struggling with rising inflation. For now, we have 12 monthly payments locked in for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries. That will take us through January 2025. $24,000 in total stimulus funds certainly provides massive financial relief. I know this money cannot come soon enough for the millions relying on fixed incomes from these federal programs just to make ends meet. The skyrocketing costs of healthcare, food, housing, transportation have hit their budgets hard. This recurring stimulus gives them more stability, and that $2,000 monthly boost will hopefully lift many out of poverty. What fantastic, life-changing news for seniors, people with disabilities, and veterans. $2,000 extra every month can mean the difference between barely scraping by and actually paying the bills comfortably. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Congress adds even more funding to extend this vital stimulus aid for years to come. Real people benefiting from smart policy is what we need to see. Well, there you have it, folks, all the key details you need to know about this new $2,000 monthly stimulus check program for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs beneficiaries that Congress just enacted. I don't know about you, but I am ecstatic that our lawmakers in Washington actually managed to come together in a bipartisan way to provide real, meaningful relief for millions of Americans. This will have such an enormously positive impact on the lives of retirees, people with disabilities and veterans who have been struggling badly for years now. As I said earlier, please do make sure to look out for letters from the Social Security Administration or VA confirming your eligibility and when exactly you can expect the monthly $2,000 payments to start hitting your bank account or debit card alongside your usual benefits deposits. If by mid-February you still have not received any letter or communication from them, then you'll want to inquire about the status of your stimulus money. But for most of you, it should be a smooth, automatic process. Just look for that confirmation letter in the mail and get ready to put that extra $2,000 per month to good use. This is such uplifting and hopeful news. Despite all the hyper-partisan bickering, Congress can still come together sometimes and do the right thing for the American people. Let's hope this ushers in more bipartisan efforts to address inflation and make life a bit easier for folks across the country. I'll summarize the news and provide some high-level commentary. The main update is that while many Americans may be underestimating the Social Security income they will receive, it's crucial to remember that Social Security should not be your only source of retirement income. Looking at other income streams you may have helps inform your Social Security strategy. This is big news, as Social Security makes up a significant portion of retirement income for millions of retired Americans. Underestimating Social Security could potentially leave retirees in a bind, so understanding how much you can realistically expect to receive is important. 
Now, for the full news details. According to recently released reports, many Americans are not properly estimating their future Social Security payments. Most people guess they will receive less from Social Security than they actually will once they retire. This finding came from surveys conducted by researchers. The surveys asked people across all age groups to estimate the Social Security income they thought they would receive. The results showed that overall, most people underestimate the amount. Some key factors lead to this underestimation. For one, the Social Security system itself is complex. Formulas to calculate benefits are challenging to understand. Many Americans do not realize that Social Security income may be taxed. Also, people tend to overestimate future earnings from their own savings and investments. This makes Social Security seem less significant in the full scope of retirement income. While underestimating Social Security income is common, it can be problematic. Retirement planning today revolves heavily around Social Security. It makes up about one-third of total income for the average retired household. Relying too much on Social Security without supplementing it with other income sources can put retirees in a tight spot financially. And now, switching gears a bit let's talk stimulus checks. I know this is top of mind for many folks right now with the ongoing pandemic. While additional federal stimulus checks are still being debated by lawmakers, some states are taking action on their own. In the past few weeks, we've seen new stimulus check programs launched in states like California, New York, and Florida. These state-level checks provide hundreds or even thousands of dollars to eligible residents. The requirements vary by state, but include things like income limits, with checks targeted at low- to middle-income households. With federal action uncertain, these state stimulus checks are providing welcome relief. And in some cases, they may complement any future federal checks that end up getting approved down the line. All right now that we've covered the news headlines, let's dive into the full details surrounding Social Security and stimulus checks. For the next six minutes, I'll provide context, statistics, tips, and action items so you have all the information you need. First up, Social Security. While many Americans underestimate their future benefits, how much you receive depends on multiple factors. These include your lifetime earnings, the age when you file for benefits, and your work history. To give you a sense of the numbers, the average monthly Social Security benefit as of 2021 is $1,565. That comes out to about $19,000 per year. However, the maximum possible benefit currently is over $3,800 per month, or around $46,000 annually. As you approach retirement, the Social Security Administration will mail you a statement summarizing your projected benefits. That's important to review carefully as you develop your overall retirement plan. One tip is to create different scenarios. See how much your benefits change if you file early at age 62, at your full retirement age, or if you delay until age 70. Filing early reduces monthly income, while delaying increases it but you have to weigh trade-offs like leaving the workforce sooner. Also, remember to account for taxes. Up to 85% of Social Security benefits are taxable if your income exceeds certain thresholds. Factoring those taxes in avoids an unexpected hit. And most importantly, do not rely only on Social Security in retirement. Social Security was never meant to be the sole source of income. Build up your 401k, IRAs, invest, and save diligently. Supplement with income from part-time work if you desire. This will allow you to optimize when and how much Social Security you ultimately use. Shifting to stimulus checks, the situation remains fluid, with several scenarios possible. The federal picture is uncertain, but more states are proactively stepping in. For federal checks, another round of $1,400 payments is possible this year but facing hurdles. The Build Back Better bill with stimulus funding stalled in Congress. However, political pressure remains, so revival is possible. Separately, standalone stimulus bills have been proposed, like one from Senator Mitt Romney for $350 monthly checks subject to income limits. The odds are unclear, but it signals ongoing interest in stimulus. For state-level relief, California, New York, and Florida have recently approved direct checks of $200 to $1,050 for millions of residents. These help offset costs as inflation persists at high levels. 
Other states like Hawaii, Idaho, and New Mexico are exploring similar temporary stimulus programs. These states have budget surpluses allowing for one-time checks to residents. If living in a state considering such payments, look up information on timing, eligibility rules, and how to ensure you receive any funds allotted to you. Every bit helps with today's high prices. Additionally, watch for localized stimulus programs. Some cities and counties have provided relief, like Chicago and Seattle. More local areas may follow suit. I'll continue monitoring the stimulus landscape closely and will share any major updates on future programs or payments. As news develops on federal and state efforts, I'll keep you informed every step of the way.